Live Storm Tracker Doppler Radar, sponsored by Homeland Bank. And now, exclusive Storm Tracker Doppler weather with meteorologist Chase Ward. Overall, it's not too bad this Tuesday morning. Temperatures have fallen to lower 70s and dew points have actually dropped into the 60s in a couple spots across the Mississippi Delta and parts of southeast Arkansas. And we are starting off mostly clear. However, if you got anything to do outside work or anything like that, do it this morning because this is the best point of the day because we are expecting the excessive peak to continue for this afternoon. Here's a good top of radar at 649. The only thing the radar is picking up is just some moisture content. That's the shade of green that we're seeing looking in downtown El Dorado. The sun is out. Skies are mainly clear. And like I said, it doesn't feel too bad in South Arkansas right now. The Odair Airport, they're at 72 degrees. Dew points at 69. And winds have been calm just out of the east. For the outdoor forecast, this morning will probably be the best time of the day because we'll be mid 70s, reaching into the 80s by 10 o'clock. And then by lunchtime at noon, we will be in the lower 90s, pushing into the upper 90s with a heat index well into triple digits for later today. Now, further off to the west, Shreveport, they're at 80. 71, 73 in Ruston. Monroe's holding out 74. Greenville's still at 69, 71 up in Monticello. And you can see dew points. A little bit more dry air in place across Mississippi Delta and section southeast Arkansas. And even parts of northeast Louisiana, we got dew points upper 60s. You can kind of think that northeasterly flow has been helping us uh, kind of drop dew points off a little bit. Low pressure down to our south, area of high pressure to the north, which has been aiding in that type of circular flow. Now, this will kind of begin to push further south, and suddenly flow will be returning to our area. Can us more warmer air and moisture conditions as well. Forecast highs pushing well into the upper 90s and near triple digits in a lot of places, but the heat index pushing above 110 because the dew points themselves will hold out in mid 70s. Won't be as hot for parts of southeast Arkansas and Mississippi Delta because dew points might be able to hold out just upper 60s, but still practice heat safety nonetheless. Excessive heat warnings in effect for most of Louisiana with the heat advisories in effect for elsewhere. So again, if you really if you can avoid the peak day, daytime heating hours of the afternoon. That's definitely going to be recommended. Above all else, make sure you're staying hydrated and taking frequent breaks for work or exercise. Mowing forecast. Not much relief moving forward. We're still going to remain in the upper 90s. We'll see a few clouds try to push in for tomorrow. This is kind of that tropical summertime like feel. As we go into this afternoon, we won't expect much of any rainfall, but by tomorrow, all the moisture is in place. We can get some daytime heating, and there could be a chance for a pop up shower or two. But we do have a cold front pushing again out of the northwest, but it's not going to be making it any far south. Doubt it's going to make any far south of the Washtenaw Mountains of Arkansas. So it's going to say, well, up to the north, we really won't expect any rain chances until at least later on in the week with our next frontal system. So until then, it's going to be very hot and humid winds to begin to shift more suddenly. Still going to be relatively calm, though. It's not going to be breezy or anything like that, which actually might make it feel just a little bit better, but it's still just be more stagnant nonetheless. For tomorrow, possible pop-up shower, mainly in Mississippi Delta and sections of southeast Arkansas. Rain tents overall kind of kept at just 10% to account for that pop-up hit or miss shower. Now, tracking the tropics, we have Hurricane Burl uh, currently at a Category 5 hurricane reaching max winds of 165 miles per hour. Now that is expected to push further into the Western Caribbean near Jamaica and that will push further towards the UK Peninsula. As some models are indicating it might be uh, weakening by the time it makes landfall in Mexico later on in the week. Bay high by 90 degrees for this afternoon. Site will fall to the upper 70s, staying very warm and muggy. And then no relief through the holiday on Thursday. And then this weekend, there might be a chance for some relief with our next system as we see a return to more patchy showers and thunderstorms. So tell me right back. Watch NBC 10 News today.